Hi, I'm Paul Curran and I'm directing The Barter Bride for Garden Season Opera this summer. What's The Barter Bride about? It's a story of teenage love. It's about a girl that's being forced to marry she doesn't, somebody she doesn't want to marry, but actually is in love with somebody else. And the bartered part of it, the buying and sold part, is that this guy seemingly sells her, but actually he's not selling her. He's just trying to dupe a marriage broker who is actually selling her off. So it's a big family story that ends up with the right guy with the right girl at the end. So with a title like The Bartered Bride, or The Sold Bride as it is often in, in German, Italian, other languages, actually in Czech as well. What's interesting is, is she a passenger in all this? Does she just get taken along for the ride? She should, absolutely. In this piece written in 1860, yeah, that's what a girl was supposed to do. What's interesting, she says, no, forget it. I don't want to marry this guy, I have no interest. Her mother, more interestingly, says, here's the deal. I want you to meet him, I want you to help. I want you to help the family out. We've got to pay off this debt. You're part of the deal. But if you don't like him, it's okay. We'll find somebody else, we'll manage. That's what's interesting in a historical piece from 1860 to transpose that into 2019 and in our production, 1957, where a lot of people in certain areas of society do feel it's their duty to marry the guy, the girl, whoever that your mother and father or your grandmother and grandfather think you should marry. So is she a passenger? Should be, but to me, she's, a, she's kind of a bit of a feminist. She's like, I just want to make my decisions and do my own thing. Act three, there's a visiting circus comes to town and you've got to say to yourself, why is there a circus? Actually, it's the, the ringmaster of the circus that tells us what the circus represents. The circus is freedom. He says, we're free, we're free artists. We go from town to town, we do what we like. It's just a big contrast to the rigidity of society that says, get married, have a baby, get a job, have a nine to five life, bump. I don't think the character Vasek is made out for that. And I don't think he knows that until he meets these guys in the circus. When this whole new world sort of wakens up for him and all of a sudden he sees, well he sees Esmeralda, who's the dancer, ballerina, kind of uh, tightrope walker of the circus. And then he decides, you know what? I think I'm gonna go and do that. So it's thrilling that this tightly wound and totally controlled young man ends up running away with the circus. I really hope you enjoy watching The Barter Bride. I think it's a wonderful human story of ordinary human beings. Um, watch it all the way through because the circus is in the last act. It's a fantastic experience to see these guys, at the, young people at the height of their skills. And it's really the essence of what opera is all about. Opera is stories of human beings in text and music and color and movement. And that's why opera really matters today because not a lot of things give you that.